Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Tears to Breakthrough Virtual Conference Center. I am your host and purpose pusher, Carolyn Ritter Watson, and I am also the founder and overseer of the Tears Movement. And so welcome if this is your first time. If this is not your first time, then you know that you should be inviting someone new in our virtual space. You know, we stand in the gap for each other here. We lift each other up in prayer, you know. Um, we break through it together, amen. We break through it together and we share our stories authentically. And so welcome again, if this is your first time. Um, and so this is your morning wake up call. I wanna wake you up to the fact that God is a loving heavenly father who adores you. He absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, adores you. So you are adored this morning, amen. And I wanna uh, talk to you about, you know, I was praying, um, well, I pray every morning <laughs> before I, you know, start these broadcasts. I pray and I ask God to show me what post I should post this mo every morning. Um, and this morning was no different. And then, you know, what message should I, I give to the people? And, and, and I always pray and ask God to just show me, you know, your people and, and, and where they are right now, you know, show me, take me to where they are, um, so that I can, you know, give them a word that's going to, you know, help them. You know what I mean? And so uh, what God showed me this morning is that many of you are struggling with moving forward. You know, you're struggling in your minds. You know, you're struggling in your, your homes, your household. You know, you're, you're just struggling with letting go of the past and moving forward. And God is saying, you know, I need you to come out of your comfort zone because you're just too comfortable. You know, sometimes we can go through for so long that it becomes comfortable and we think it's normal, but it's not normal. God is saying it's not normal. That that um, space that you've been in, that dark place that you've been in for so long is not normal. And God wants to, you know, do a new thing in your life. And so I want to talk to you about that. And then I want to read our morning post. And so um, just begin to think about how, you know, God has been speaking to you and he might have been sending people your way. You know, he might have been giving you glimpses of, you know, what he has for you. But, you know, you're so stuck where you are because you're comfortable. You know, it's it's hurting you. You know, it's not healthy for you, but you're you just decided that you're going to stay in that place anyway because you're you know some of you are just fearful of what's to come and God is saying no you've been in that place for too long I want to do a new thing I want to do a new thing in your life but you know faith without works is dead and so God needs you to do some things right he's not going to just change your life poof no there's some corresponding action that you have to bring forth as well so you play a big part in the change that you want to see in your life if you want to see lasting change in your life, then you have to make some lasting changes, some changes that that's, and, and it's going to hurt. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be different. You know, God wants to do a new normal in your life. Amen. And so let me find our morning post. If you have not stopped by this morning, please do stop by, say good morning. And, you know, if you want to leave us um, an inspirational message or, or post, please do. You know, we welcome, you know, anything, you know, we, that, that can encourage and build up. You know, there's so much going on all around us. People need to be inspired and, and encouraged, you know, because there's just too much going on. Amen. And so listen, God is saying to you, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past because I am doing a new thing. He wants to do a new thing in you. He wants to do a new thing through you. He wants to do some new things in your life. Amen. Um, but you have to do your part. And so Isaiah, our scripture verse for today is Isaiah 43. I'm going to actually start in verse 19 very familiar scripture it says do not call to mind the former things and so and some of you are right there where you know you're just rehearsing the same old stuff over and over and over again in your mind you know some things that happened in the past you know you you, you know you keep um dwelling on those things 
God is saying it's time to let those things go. It's time to move on. It's time to move forward. And so do not call to mind the former things or ponder things of the past. Behold, I will do something new. Now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will even make a roadway in the wilderness, rivers, in the desert. And so God wants to do a new thing for you. He wants to make a way for you out of no way. And that's what God does. He's a way maker. He's a way maker. He's a promise keeper. He wants to make a way out of no way. Because I know for some of you, it looks like there's no way out. But there is a way out. God always gives us a way of escape. Amen. And so he's saying, look, I am about to do something new. Even now it is coming. Do you not see it? Do you not see it? God says that he will make a way in the wilderness. He wants to make a way. Some of you are just in that wilderness season in your life. You've just been in the wilderness and God wants to do a new thing. And so it's time for you to let go of the old. God can't really do anything new in your life if you're stuck, you know, with the same old mindset, you know, rehearsing those same old things that happened to you, you know, um, repeating those same old patterns and cycles that, you know, your parents um, uh, did, you know, and, and, and you know those things didn't work back then. So they're certainly not working right now. God is saying he wants to do a new thing. He wants to do a new thing. You know, there is absolutely nothing we can do with the past. The past is history. And then, you know, in the future is a mystery. I mean, yeah, we can have plans and goals, but we don't really know what's going to come in the future. But the present, the present moment right here, right now is a present from God. God is saying, even if you in this moment can just get into my presence, I can reveal some things for you. I can give you comfort. I can give you, you know, in the presence of God, there's fullness of joy. And some of you need some joy this morning, but you're so stuck in the past. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. And so with that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read our morning post. And it says, God is saying to you today, today, do not go backwards. Do not go backwards. That is what the enemy wants you to do. Your future will be greater than your past. Your past was just preparation for your future. God says, I am with you. We know that he promises to never leave you nor forsake you. So he says, I am with you. Keep moving forward. Things are better for you up ahead. Come on now. Come on now. You got to come, you got to move forward. You got to stop looking back. You know what they say about, you know, if you're driving and, and you keep looking back in, in your rear view mirror, eventually you're going to crash. You got to look forward. You got to stay in the present. We well, got to start in the present. You start in the present and, and, and move forward. But you can't keep looking back. Right? You're going to crash. It's time to move forward. But let's start in the present, in this present moment. You're here right now. You're here right now. I always say this, a brand new day, brand new opportunity. If you're if you're able to wake up this morning, that gives you all new opportunity to do things better, to live this thing out for real. You don't have to be, um, you know, uh, your your past does not define your your future. And your past doesn't have to become your future unless that is what you decide. You decide. You decide. Right? And so I'm going to read that again. God is saying to you, do not go backwards. So don't go backwards. Some of you have come too far to go back now. Don't go back. Don't go back. Don't go back. Because if you go back, it's going to be 10 times as hard to come out of that thing. Do not go backwards. That is what the enemy wants you to do. Your future will be greater, hallelujah, than your past. Come out of that comfort zone. Come out of that comfort zone. You've been in that comfort zone for so long. You've gotten so comfortable in that mess 
It's time to do something new. Your past was just pre preparation for your future. And God says, I am with you. You know, he promises to never leave you nor forsake you. God says, keep moving forward. Things are better for you up ahead. Keep moving forward. Don't you go backwards. Don't you dare go backwards. Don't you dare go backwards. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. Amen. And so what I want to do right now is I just want to pray. I'm going to pray. Father God, we thank you, Father. We thank you for this brand new day, Lord God. Lord God, you said with each day, you give us new mercies, new mercies every day. And so we want to thank you this morning, Lord. We just want to honor you, Daddy, because you are a good, good father to us. And so, Lord God, I'm praying, Lord God, I'm lifting up everyone under the sound of my voice, Lord God, that's struggling with moving forward, Lord God. Some are so comfortable in that mess. It's become normal to them, Lord God. But you're saying, no, that is not normal. I did not create you to go through those trouble, troubles and struggles. I did not create you for abuse. I did not create you for misuse. God wants to do a new thing. He's saying, allow him to do that thing. And so give them the strength, Father God, to do something new. Give them the strength, Lord God, to come out of that comfort zone, Lord God. Help them to, to, to get into the present moment. Because in your presence, Lord God, is fullness of joy. Oh, hallelujah. It's fullness of joy. So I just want to encourage them, Lord God, to get into your presence this morning. And as they get into your presence, you will reveal some amazing and marvelous things that you have for their future, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you are our guide. I ask that you will guide us every step of the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to do a new thing. You want to do a new thing. It's time to let go of the former things. It's time to let go of the old things that are no longer working. Hallelujah. Help them to let go, Lord God. Give them the strength that they need to let go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, pray for, I pray for renewed minds today, Lord God. Renewed minds. Because some of the minds, some of their minds, Lord God, are just re rehearsing the old over and over and over again like a broken record. And so I pray for renewed minds today, Lord God. Letting go of old mindsets that, 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 that are just holding us back. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your new mercies this morning, Lord God. We thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord God. We thank you. We thank you for giving us a whole new opportunity to do things better than we did the day before, Lord. We thank you. And so we're trusting you with our future, Lord God. We're getting excited about our future because we know that you, you're going to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or imagine, Lord God, according to the power that you have already placed on the inside of us. Help us to see, Lord God, that you've already given us everything we need on the inside of us. Hallelujah. And so we thank you today, Lord. We thank you and we will not look back, Lord God. We will not look back. Begin to say, Lord, I will not look back. I will not look back. I will not go back. For some of you, don't go back. God is saying, don't go back because if you go back, that thing is going to be 10 times harder to come out of. Don't go back. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. And so help us to move forward today, Lord. Help us to move forward. Hallelujah. We trust you, God. We trust you, God. Hallelujah. We trust you. And finally, Lord, I speak a third John blessing. I pray above all things that we will prosper, that we will be in health, even as our soul prospers. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Don't go back. Don't go back. It's time to let go. Let go of the past. Let go of the past. You can't do nothing with what happened in the past. You can't do nothing with what happened yesterday. All you can do is in this day, God has given you a fresh start to do something new, to move forward forward move forward amen i pray that this has blessed you don't forget to check out the end of this video where um you will find some items from my layla simone shop for a cause apparel line i run that business with my granddaughter layla yes i'm teaching baby girl entrepreneurship and so it's a shop for a cause business and so the cause is 
women in crisis. We support nonprofits that support women in crisis, and that could be through, you know, a domestic violence shelter. Um, and also, we support nonprofits that raise awareness, breast cancer awareness, and uh, does research, and then some youth related nonprofits. And so, check them out, make a purchase, and, um, and, and just be encouraged. Be encouraged. Don't be discouraged. Be encouraged. Don't be discouraged. God wants to do a new thing in your life. He wants to do a new thing. It's time to let go of all that old stuff. Old. It's, it's old. It's over with. It's done. There's nothing you can, um, you cannot benefit. You cannot grow from going back, returning to that old stuff. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. Promise me that you will work towards moving forward. Do all that you can and God will do the rest. My dad used to always say that I will do all that I can and God will do the rest. And so I want to encourage you today to do all that you can and allow God to do the rest. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. This is your morning wake up call. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Woke, get woke. What is that term? Get woke. <laughs> It's a slang, you know, it's time for some of you to wake up, get woke. You've been in that dark place for too long. God wants to do a new thing, amen. If you need to reach me, you can reach me by email at tearsinabottle8 at gmail.com. That's tearsinabottle, the number eight at gmail.com. God bless you. I'll see you next time right here in our virtual space in our Tears of Breakthrough Virtual Conference Center. You have a blessed and marvelous day. Bye-bye.